Hi, it's Ryan from Traders Warehouse Security Distribution UK. This will be my second video on how to connect ProView IP cameras to Hikvision NDRs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to address up ProView IP cameras so that they can be found in the Hikvision DVR menu. In this video, I'll be using a Hikvision DS7604 NVR with PoE integrated and a ProView 903.097 4 megapixel IP camera. The first thing to do is connect your camera into one of the numbered ports on the NVR. This will give the camera power and allow it to transmit data. The second thing you need to do is connect your laptop into one of the numbered ports. Now this NVR does output PoE through these numbered ports, so I would always recommend using a non-PoE IP patch lead. So turning a standard patch lead into a non-PoE patch lead is actually really easy. Um, and when you consider the fact that connecting a, a PoE port to your possibly non-PoE laptop could irreparably damage it, it's probably worth doing. So all you need to, uh, to do to convert a standard patch lead to a non-PoE patch lead is disconnect the brown and the blue pairs. So the easiest way to do that, if you've not already um, got a pre-terminated non-PoE patch lead, is to just cut into the sheath slightly. To expose the pairs. Once you've got the pairs exposed you can just use a pair of snips to cut the brown and the blue pairs. Okay, so now that you have your camera connected to one of the numbered ports on the NVR and you have your laptop or PC connected to one of the numbered ports on the NVR, they'll be able to talk to each other as they're on the same network. They're not currently on the same IP range, but with the ProView IPC search tool it doesn't matter, it will find ProView cameras on any IP range, providing they're connected physically to the same network. So you're going to want to open your IPC search tool. This can be found on the CD that comes with the cameras. Every one of the cameras has a CD that which will contain the IPC search tool. Alternatively, if you don't have a CD drive on your, uh, on your computer, you can download it from the URL which should be appearing on the screen anytime now. So once you've downloaded and installed the IPC search tool, you'll have an icon on your desktop. And what you'll need to do is double click that icon to bring up the software. Once you have the software on the screen, you'll hit the search button down at the bottom there. That will find automatically any ProView IP cameras that you have physically connected to the same network. As I say, they don't have to be on the same IP range as your computer. It will find them regardless. So to change the IP address on the camera itself, we'll click on it on the left hand side to highlight it. If you had multiple cameras connected, there would be a list of cameras there. Now, what you might notice is that although ProView cameras already come set to DHCP, because it's been unable to find a DHCP address, what with the Hikvision NVRs not having a DHCP server built in, it's automatically defaulted to 192.168.1.168 as its IP address. Now, if you connected multiple cameras in that, if you connected four cameras in at the same time and they all did that, they'd all be sitting on the same IP address as each other. So when you come to change the IP address through the software, it may cause confusion. That's why I've, uh, I've recommended to, uh, to just connect one camera at a time for this setup. So once you find your camera in the list, uh, just, uh, just left click on it and that will highlight it. And then what we're going to do is set the IP address. So I'm going to untick the DHCP button, which will enable us to, to set our own IP address. Now, as mentioned earlier, Hikvision equipment, Hikvision NVRs, uh, the subnet for the cameras is 192.168.254. So we have to set our cameras into that range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to 192.168.254.10 as the camera address. Um, and as we go up, as we connect the next cameras in, uh, we'll go with 192.168.254.11.12.13 and just go up that way just so it's nice and easy and we know what, uh, what all the addresses are. So once you've set the IP address, you'll also need to set the gateway. It's not particularly important to do it when you're setting a, a cameras up like this onto an NDR that's got a dedicated subnet because they won't be able to access the internet anyway. Um, the cameras, the, the NVR will still be able to access the internet on its, on its LAN port. But what we'll do is we'll set it anyway, so I'll set that to 254.1. And I'll just do the same with the DNS, it's just, for, uh, just so it's there. Yeah. 
leave the ports alone, you don't really need to touch them. Um, in the password, just put the admin password for the camera in, which is admin for ProView cameras, and then hit the modify button. You'll get a message up that says modify success, just click OK to that, and then if you hit search again, the camera will disappear um, as it needs to do a reboot to set all its new details. So we'll just wait while it does that. Should take no more than a couple of minutes. Okay, and as you can see now, we've hit the search button, the camera's come back up. It does have its new IP address of 192.168.254.10 um, and all the details are, are as we set them. So what we can do now is we can disconnect that camera and connect each of the next cameras in sequence to address them up. As I said, the next one will be 192.168.254.11 and then we'll do .12 and .13, so we'll have all four cameras programmed up. Okay, so as you can see, I connected the second camera up. Hopefully I fast-forwarded that for you on the YouTube video so you didn't have to sit around for too long. Um, I popped that on and as you can see, that's the second camera and it's come up with that 192.168.1.168 automatic address. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna set that to, uh, to our next address. So I'll, um, I'll just click it to highlight it, untick the HCP, and we'll set it to 192.168.254.11. Up by one increment, and then we'll also set the gateway to two five. Oops, I think I may have messed up there. Try again. Two five four dot eleven. Two Pop the admin password in, which is admin, and hit the modify button. We get the modify success. The camera disappears and, uh, and when it comes back up it will have its new 192.168.254.11 address. Okay, as you can see that camera's come up there, so what I'll do now is I'll disconnect that camera and connect the third one in the sequence. Okay, so that's all four cameras now addressed up as 192.168.254.10, 11, 12 and 13. That whole process of doing uh, the four cameras took about five to six minutes in real time. Hopefully the magic of television made it a little bit quicker for you. Once you have all those cameras addressed up, you can connect them all in back into the numbered ports using your, uh, your straight through patch leads uh, into your NVR, one, two, three and four. And then, um, and then we'll be able to program them up into the NVR menu. Thanks very much for watching. In the next video, I'll go through programming the cameras in the Hikvision NVR via the menu system.